Wow, My Vegas Bingo is probably the coolest game that Play Studios has made in a long time. I wonder if MGM Slots Live is going to be nearly as fun. Oh, it's just more slots. Well, I guess I have some notes for Play Studios then. Is the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. Before we get started, I just want to give a quick thank you to all of our Patreon members that help keep the channel growing. More on that later. Hey there, Spinners and Sharks, Ace of Vegas here, and I hope you're doing well. So if you're not new here, you probably know that I'm a very avid fan of the My Vegas games, especially My Vegas Blackjack, Pop Slots, and of course the newest game, My Vegas Bingo. Well, second newest. The gameplay is very interactive, fast-paced, and is the closest thing I've felt to actually being in the casino. Now that being said, Play Studios and My Vegas aren't perfect, and there are a few things that I'd like to see them change in the new year, if they're working on another secret project like they did with MGM Slots Live. So because I know that Play Studios and My Vegas like to watch my videos, I'm going to abuse my platform and make a wish list of the top 11 new games and features that I'd like to see in the next year. Why top 11? Because as you know, I like to go even further beyond. So here's my list of the best My Vegas features that I want to see coming this coming year. Given the success and functionality of My Vegas Bingo, My Vegas Kino doesn't seem like it'd be a difficult system to implement. For those of you who don't know, Kino is basically a video lottery. You get to pick a certain set of numbers on a card on screen. And if you get enough of them, you get paid. Simple as that. It's a naturally fast-paced game with the ability to repeat a bet, so it works well as an active player or as a passive one. Therefore, the loyalty point clock system would be just as appropriate as an earn-as-you-bet system that's a bit more common in the iPhone versions of the game. I'm personally not too keen on Kino, honestly, unless it's Kino Kid, of course, but I do have fun when I play it. So that's what keeps it low on the list. Nevertheless, it's not a bad idea to have, placing it in 11th. So if you've made it through my best games in my Vegas playlist or know someone who has, give them a big hug. There are tons of my Vegas slot games out there from across all different ports and spin-offs. But one frustrating thing that I've found with all the games is, there's no way to search for them on your phone. Sure, they have a favorite feature, but if one of your slots is taken off the platform, you have to scroll through the entire app to figure it out. A simple index search feature would take a lot of the trouble out of that and streamline the experience. Now, I'm not sure if this is a standard SQL database since My Vegas runs a different engine, but it's just a thought that would improve quality of life for a few players, in my personal opinion. Hence why it's my number 10 wish. I never play roulette, but when I do, I... Always bet on black. Nah, that's not the one. Always bet on black. That's the one. Either way, Roulette is a high-energy table game that would probably simulate a lot of the same energy that Pop Slots and MGM Slots Live does. It's an ideal game for multiplayer and could use a similar aesthetic to the My Vegas Blackjack. It should be pretty simple to implement at least the look of it, and it could mimic the look and feel of real Vegas tables too, just to give it a bit more appeal. Just a thought that I hope Play Studios takes into consideration. The MLife sports betting app has been generating a lot of buzz lately, and sports betting is notorious for being the best bet in Las Vegas for the budget gambler. And since My Vegas is definitely a boon for the budget gambler, it just seems like a good match. Sports betting rarely, if ever, rates well on your play, so you don't tend to get too many MLife points for it. But what if you could earn loyalty points on your bets, based on how much you wager, it could convert into a small pool of loyalty points that's emailed to you as a link to redeem later on in the day. So it's not something you would play daily, just a bonus if sports bets are legal in your state, and it's something you participate in at all. It's not much, but sports players would probably appreciate it. Texas Hold'em is, anecdotally in a way, the most popular game in the casino. 
I don't know why, but everyone that I meet seems to fancy themselves a poker player, and Texas Hold'em is always their game. I understand it gets some interesting swings, it's a relatively long game for the bets, and it's a good social experience, I guess for some. The posturing is a little too much for me personally, but I like the idea of yet another multiplayer game in my Vegas that counts on player interaction. There are enough games out there like this concept, so the market is there and it would probably keep the poker rooms viable for MLife as they change their comp rules, yet again. Drawing a lucky 7 on my list of ideas. This is from my boys TVP and PJ Slots. I think some of the most fun I've ever had on stream is playing bubble craps with my subscribers. The game swings are plentiful, and despite the initial look of complexity, it's a pretty simple game for the most part. I'd love a craps game that rewards me for trying different strategies and helping me get comfortable before I go down to Park MGM or Resorts World and get my butt kicked. Bonus points if the app rules actually match the table and bubble machine rules at the casino itself. You'll probably notice a bit of a theme here, but this is yet another app idea that would work in both a solo playthrough or in a multiplayer mode. I can see earning loyalty points working very well in this app, and that's why it's my sixth pick. This is a long shot, but since MLife and MyVegas are irrevocably linked, it's just logical for you to get a few extra points with MLife. MyVegas chip purchases could contribute to your tier credits at the normal rate that tier credits are accumulated. For example, if you bought a $30 package, you would earn 750 MLife credits. Wouldn't that be great? Hey, it's Minus and Shark, super quick addendum to this over here. So I know in my theoretical example, I said 25 points for every dollar spent, it's actually four points for every dollar spent. They changed the way that the tier credits are uh, gonna be calculated as of February 1st of 2022. I filmed this over Christmas break before they made the official announcement on the first, so that's why the video is out of date. The rest of the video still pretty much works. I already made a slight tweak to audio a little later on in the film, or I think it might be a little earlier on, depending on how I order these. So just thought I'd let you guys know about that over here. Anyway, enough of that. Back to past days, future races out. I suppose calculating play would be a touch more difficult since loyalty points are going towards comps and this borders on double dipping. But hey, what better way to keep players in the casino? Either way, it's just a wish and it's just good enough to make the halfway point on our wish list. I hate that the Lucky Life brand had to be retired. For those of you who don't know, my Vegas Lucky Life was a spin-off game made by the Play Studios to get you free rewards in MGM casinos. But unlike most My Vegas games, this focused on Macau-based rewards. Since we were on the theme, I thought PyGao Poker might be a good way to bridge the gap. PyGao is known as a fun, social, relatively slow game for budget gamers, and is familiar to Western players. The game has worldwide appeal, so you wouldn't alienate Eastern players either. It could even have the classic PyGao Domino minigame somewhere in there too. That would be unique and would offer a good opportunity to market Macau properties to Western players with way too many loyalty points to spend in Las Vegas, also known as me. We'll I'll talk more about that later, but it looks like Lucky Life PyGao is squaring off at number 4. Another Macau favorite, Baccarat is something of a slow game that's perfect for My Vegas to spice up a la My Vegas Bingo. Imagine betting on bank or player, being frustrated, and ripping a card that gives you an extra draw. The amount of chaos would be remarkable and makes for a really fun game. Like most games on this list, it would work in a single player or multiplayer mode, and given Baccarat's popularity in Macau, the international appeal would likely bring a bigger audience to My Vegas as a whole and a bigger audience to the game itself in return. Number 3 may not be lucky, but it's magic, and it's blasting its way to the bronze medal. I'm astonished they don't have this one yet. Video poker is such a common video game. I've been playing the game since I was a kid, not very well mind you, 
but they had it in Dave and Buster's if that's any indication. And it's not new to the real reward casino genre either. Binions and Four Queens, before they got rid of the program, were prominent real reward applications that offered video poker, and I'm ever so certain that my Vegas could at least do that. Someone over there has to have a Unity engine they know how to program. It's a simple idea that hasn't been implemented, so I think it's worth looking into, at least as number two. I think my favorite rooms at a lot of MGM properties have been the hotels within hotels. Signature at MGM Grand, Vidara, and Delano are among some of my favorite hotels in Vegas. And while I can still occasionally weasel my way into an upgrade at the parent properties, these rewards were the best. They were usually better rooms in exchange for a slightly longer walk. And as some of my favorite rewards have become a bit more scarce or disappeared from the platform entirely, it would be nice to have these premium rewards available again, even if it costs a few extra loyalty points. And that's why this is my number one pick on our list. Alright Spinners and Sharks, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed today's top 10 list and found it informative, I'd appreciate a like. And feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. Before I go, I just wanted to take a moment to shout out our patrons, including our newest patron, Tim H. at the Vegas Veteran Tier. Guys, it means the world to me that you're choosing to support me in this way and help keep Ace of Vegas independent of the YouTube algorithm. My content, as you know, isn't always censor and advertiser friendly, so it goes a long way in keeping the channel running. If you'd like a more direct hand in keeping Ace of Vegas growing, Check out the Patreon link in the description box down below. In the meantime though, what changes do you want to see my Vegas make in 2022 and beyond? Or would you just prefer that they leave the game as is? Whatever your thoughts may be, I'd love to hear them in the comments down below. Until next time though, this is Ace of Vegas signing out, wishing you strong hands, and of course, happy spinning you guys. Viva, Ace of Vegas. Viva, Ace of Vegas. Viva, Ace of Vegas. Viva!